Hello students, this is Mrs. Williams from Les Legacy High with another video to help you along with your studies. So today we're going to be talking about complementary angles. And I am going to draw a little C for complementary. And you may remember that this is often paired with supplementary angles. I'm going to draw S. And one way for you to remember the difference is that complementary angles are the ones, they are 90 degrees. Supplementary angles are 180 degrees. So that's just one way of looking at that. Sometimes we tend to get them confused. So pick a way that you're going to remember that complementary angles are angles whose sum is 90 degrees. Okay, let's look at some sample problems. On number 10, it says the measure uh, angle T and angle U are complements. If the measure of angle U is 21, what is the measure of angle T? Well, measure of angle T plus the measure of angle U is going to be equal, since they're complementary, we know that it's going to be equal to 90 degrees. Okay. The measure of angle U is 21. We're going to let this stand for our unknown. You're going to subtract 21 from both sides. So the missing angle measure is 69 degrees. Angle, oh, excuse me, problems 9, 8, and 7 are also work the same way. And we're starting on the back and at the end because these are the simpler ones. Now let's come to number 6. On number six, it says find the value of y, the measure of angle R, P, T. So this is going to be my angle one. And also the measure of T, P, W, this is going to be my number two. And this angle here, which we can see is 90 degrees, is going to be my angle 3. Okay, so we know that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is going to be equal to the measure of angle 3, which is going to be my 90 degrees. And I know that when I see that box, then I know that I am dealing with right angles. Okay, I know that the measure of angle 3 is 90 degrees. I know that the measure of angle 1 is 4y minus 5, and the measure of angle 2 is 2y plus 5, okay, and that's equal to, uh, let's see, 90 degrees. No. no way to fix that, it just looks bad. Okay, so that's going to be equal to our 90 degrees right there. Okay, we can drop the parentheses. Positive 5 and negative 5 are going to cancel. We get 6y is equal to 90. Divide by 6, y is equal to 15. So then I'm going to go back because the question asks, what is the measure of angle RPT and TPW? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that value for y, which is 15, substitute in, and then I'm going to do the same for the other one. So there are 55 and 35 degrees. Now when you come to this one, 
uh, number five, it says, what is the value of x? Again, that little box there shows us that we're dealing with a right angle. The measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is equal to the measure of angle three, and the measure of angle three is 90 degrees. Let's look at number four. Okay, so we're just given the measure of angle EBF is 7Y minus 3, and the measure of FBC is going to be 3Y plus 3. Find the value of Y so that BE and BC are perpendicular to each other. So we have BE, and this symbol here is perpendicular. Which means, which means that they meet at a 90 degree angle. So when you see the perpendicular, you can already assume, or when you see that symbol, you already assume it's 90 degrees. So this is BE and BC. Remember, the end point, the ray has to name the end point. Okay, so then we're talking about EBF. So F must come out here. Go. So we have FBC and we have EBF. So together, this one is EBF. This one's going to be 7Y minus 3. And this one's going to be 3y plus 3. Again, angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, and angle 3 is 90 degrees. So the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 3. On number 3, it works the same way. Okay, we're told that they're perpendicular. We're told that BD and BF are perpendicular, and that gives us a 90 degree. So angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3. So the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 3, and angle 3 is 90 degrees. On this last one, if you'll look at this number two, it says find the measure of angle M S N. Well, it has that little box there, so you automatically know that it is 90 degrees. Now, number one is two problems in one. First of all, you are told that N R is perpendicular to M cubed. So you know that you're dealing with 90 degrees and you have angles that are complementary. So what do we do? Here's angle 1, here's angle 2, and angle 3 they have a measure that's 90 degrees. By the same token we see here that this, this angle, MSR, is also 90 degrees. So for the first one, it's simple. It's what we've been doing. The measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 3, which is 90 degrees. Just plug in your values. Remember, this one okay, is going to be 90 degrees. Right here, we already know that this is 90 degrees. We're only given one value or one angle. So we know that 9y plus 18 has got to be 90 degrees. So subtract 18, divide by 9. That will give you the value for y. So these are a few examples of problem solving using complementary or involving complementary angles. Good luck. Thanks.